How's everyone doing? Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming, and I have another incredible box opening to share with the community. Urza's Destiny. We already cracked open Urza's Legacy. We're now on Urza's Destiny. Next up is going to be Urza's Saga to complete the block. This is a very, very exciting time for myself and everyone else in the community, patrons as well. They are going to relive history. You guys are going to relive some history. If you're not already subscribed to Bad Boy Gaming, I highly recommend doing so. If you like nostalgia, if you like vintage, if you like crazy, ridiculous box openings, we got all that stuff here. Make sure all notifications are turned on so you don't miss one of these epic box breaks. That being said, I got a little history on this Urza's Destiny box. It says, hey Joey, thanks for supporting my MTG eBay store. First with your Urza's Legacy booster box purchase and again with your Urza's Destiny booster box purchase. It's too bad the Legacy box didn't have a grim monolith, but we were on a roll opening half the top 10 rares and the foil crop rotation. I am salty about those grim monoliths though. I was hoping to hit at least one, you know? I, I just thought that'd make a really cool video, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. This Destiny box was acquired from an estate sale. The seller had found MTG boxes in her late relative's house that she believed were bought as gifts and then stored and forgotten about. She was surprised to see how much these boxes have gone up in value over 20 years. She was concerned about the rectangular seal cut from the bottom of the box, which I'll address in the video, and I assured her that was common at the time as distributors could cut out the barcodes and redeem them for Wizards of the Coast rebate rewards. I'd appreciate a shout out if you can. Manitutor on eBay, it's all one word. Now let's make up for last time and pull a metal worker. Bro, I sincerely hope so. Are you guys ready to take a trip down memory lane? The entire Urza block I just adored when I was a kid. It was, it was just a, some magical, powerful kind of set. And it really goes to show how powerful it was because the sets that followed were nerfed because of this set right here. Journey with me. We're about to go through magic history. Let's get to Kraken Captain. Real quick, shout out to my buddy Martin Gagney. You know why? He hooked it up with all these top loaders. Not only this, but a whole bunch more. Thanks, Martin, because I blow through these, man, during these vintage openings, so I appreciate that. Also, big shout out to Heart of Gold Games in Longmount, Colorado, and Kenny Compton. Kenny said he got them hip to Bad Boy Gaming videos, and they play them in the local game store. So, awesome, man. Let's get ready, baby. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, woo! Let's take a look at this box. You guys excited or what? Holy smother and tithe, man. Holy smother and tithe. Just taking a look at everything. So what they were, what uh, what he was mentioning was in, after I flip it all around, was on the bottom of the box, as you can see, it was made in Belgium. This right here, I guess things were, you know, used to be torn out and ripped off and whatnot. I took a little look real quick and I'm like, I wonder if I can like sneak out a pack, but I feel like the box would be rather compromised if that did occur. So that is something to be, uh, be aware of right here, but common practice. That's how it rolls. I'm freaking pumped. Watch me pull nothing but duds the entire box. No, here we go, baby. Reserve list, hand them up. All right, guys, without any further ado, thank you to all the patrons who uh, got into this. Whoops, let me just slide right here. Thank you to all of the patrons who made this break possible. Your shout outs will come as your packs are cracked. And all patrons uh, that just are, uh, are patrons. Thanks. Thanks to all patrons and subscribers. Subscribers, you're the ones that make this freaking kind of stuff possible. I couldn't do it without you. Oh my goodness. We're about to crack open some history. I am recording in a different room. There's a little bit of shadows here and there. Hopefully nothing that uh, frustrates anybody. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That stamp right there almost looks new. That UPC, doesn't it? Holy crap. This box is so freaking old, man. Oh. <sighs> Man, I used to play, um, or I used to go up to, um, what was it, North Coast Nostalgia, it was called. North Coast Nostalgia. That's where, uh, I'm going to shuffle these really quick. Nothing too crazy. Be gentle, Joey, be gentle. North Coast Nostalgia in Parma, Ohio, when I was a little boy. And go and get booster packs of this stuff right freaking here. I remember seeing the, the boxes 
uh, on the counter. Just unbelievable. It, it, it was a magical sight back then, believe it or not. And I'll tell you what, it's a freaking magical sight now, <laughs> without a doubt. I'm just going to give it a little mix, even though I'm going to pluck from like anywhere and everywhere. Okay. All the packs are out. This is going to be freaking awesome. You guys ready? Let's get into cracking Urza's Destiny. Whew. First up, I'm going to grab a pack here and a pack here. Yours truly is in this video also. Taylor, good luck. If you guys do hear any uh, disturbance behind <laughs> in this video, I am in a room surrounded by nothing but windows. Uh, so it's a little windy today, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now let's open this sucker open. All the packs I do also send out to uh, the respective buyer. If you want to get involved in these breaks, all you have to do, become a patron and uh, get in while the fitting's good, man. Ooh, that, that freaking shadow, I don't know. After this video, I'm going to readjust the camera, or after this, uh, this opening. We got momentum. Now, I'm not going to do it where I'm going to flip the cards and all that. We're just going to get right to it, baby. Got disappear. Hot to freaking trap. Yeah, I'm really not liking that, that glare right there. Um, brass secretary. Can I smell this? Oh, man. It, it sm I almost said taste. It smells just like the old stuff. Taylor, good luck, man. Two packs. Plow under. Oh, I always thought that was a fun name. Put two target lands on top of their owner's library. There you go. Now we will go digging for foils in every single pack. Will we find one? I don't know. Uh, bubbling Muck. That is the most valuable common in the set. Bubbling Beetles. Oh, man. I can't wait to see a freaking foil. I hope it's something out of this world. I'm going to readjust right now, guys. Hopefully, I can get rid of this problem without causing a ruckus here. Let's see how we do. Okay, sorry about this. Uh, a little better. Okay, not as bright, but a little better. It looks almost a little dim. Hold up. <laughs> sorry, just fast forward this maybe like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give that a go. I think that's a little better. Sorry, guys. Okay, I may just fast forward that part. Second pack. Oh, hot dogs. Taylor, good luck, man. Oh my gosh. Ooh, these packs are kind of funny to open though. There we are. Ooh. Just think, these pack, this entire box, all these packs have been sitting on a shelf up until this very moment. How insane is that? Voice of Plenty. The Sextant, nice name. Gotta love it. I'm sure I giggled when I was 12. <laughs> what is going yeah, Okay. Uh, Aether Sting. Oh, come on. Something juicy. Opposition. Oh, that's so freaking cool. A little Urza action. And Baron going at it. Urza says he's sane. Perhaps, but measures of sanity among planeswalkers are hard to come by. Ooh. Who's the most powerful planeswalker that ever, ever realmed the, the, the multiverse? The plane, the planes verse. I, I got to go with Urza, man. The two most power, in my opinion, the two most powerful uh, would be Urza and would also be Nicole Bolas. But there's talk. People, people would argue that. I got to hear. What do you think? Who is the most powerful planeswalker? Who is the most powerful planeswalker? What if the Wanderer takes it out? I'd be so upset with that. All right. Now, I will pause the video here uh, so we don't waste too much time. I'm going to take a pause. Everything's going to be left where it is. I'm going to sleeve this stuff up. Appreciate you, Taylor. Ron Kylan. Mr. Purr, may the value forever be on your side. There are some massive hits in here. You got Metal Worker, Replenish, Academy Rector, Yavamaya Hollow, and Treachery. In that order, foils are through the freaking roof. I, I am, I honestly... And praying we pull a sick foil for one reason. It would feel so incredible and powerful to be holding a nasty foil rare reserve list card. <laughs> and uh, to see it um, happen uh, and capture all of it. That'd be so cool. Festering wound. Oh, man. 
freaking art, man. There was something about this whole block that just was so freaking nice, man. Like the artwork. It almost took me to like another world, you know? Repercussion. That's a that's a solid one. That's I think in the top uh yeah, that's in the top ten. Not bad. Not bad at all. There are consequences for your actions, children. Now we will decapitate you. Just like it is a oh it's so sad. Nice little hit there. Let's see some of that foilness. Come on, baby. You know, they pop so strong. Taunting Elf. I love that card. All creatures able to block ta uh, Taunting Elf do so. Imagine that in standard right now. It's a zero one. Someone's like, there's a card similar to it? Yeah, but it's like a five or six drop or something silly. That thing is like a one drop, man. Bada bing, get it going. All gotta block that sucker. It's bell worthy. Just as so you can see the condition. That thing's like flawless. Flawless. Centering top to bottom a little off though. But freaking flawless, man. A little off center here too, but you don't have that on these big jobs. There's cards that still grade a PSA 10 with that centering off a little bit or BGS 9.5. Not a lot, but there, there are exceptions out there. Christopher, is it going to be you who pulls an absolute sick foil? It's got to be. It's got to be. It's, one of these fellas is going to just flip the heck out when they see what they get. I'm trying my best to keep the packs in really good shape without, like, wasting too much time, you know, but odds are I'm going to smell this pack. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. All right, I won't do that anymore, I swear. Where'd that nostril come from? All right, here we go, guys. Oh, man. Three packs, man. Thank you a lot. That is a big order. Ooh, Nightshade Seer. God, that pops so nice. Hot dogs. Come on. That looks beautiful, man. Hunting Moa. Oh, um, let me let me sleeve that right now. Holy crap. I always like the black too, um, for these old foils. Man, that looks breathtaking. Congratulations, my friend. You got yourself an uncommon. I was a little uh I was curious about the last Urza's Legacy box we opened. We only we didn't get any uncommon foils. I don't know if that was an error box or what the deal with that was. I believe the box was legit, but you're supposed to get, back then, I thought it was, you get what, uh, like three or four, what was it, three commons, foils, two uncommons, and one rare. Isn't that how it goes? I'm pretty certain, if I, if I recall correctly, that's how it went, man. I don't know what's going on, though, um, with that box. If anyone has the answers, let me know. I can't remember that far back. Oh, God! Urza's freaking incubator. Damn, bro. That is sick. Uh, Urza, I love you. We were probably soulmates in another time. We were probably soulmates. Oh, my goodness. Someone tell me who's inside of there. Oh, my goodness. What a... F that is just breathtaking, man. Fend off. We're going to fend off the demons. This box is looking hot. This box is looking hot, man. Ooh. We got to get that metal worker. We got to get that metal worker, player. Wow. My friend, you're killing it. You are freaking killing it. Slide this puppy in there. Come on. That is awesome. All right. No more puppies here, Joey. We got to pull some big flavor value. Keep it going. Oh, I want to see a Yavamaya. I want to see a Yavamaya. Somebody call what foil we're going to get. What what foil rare are we going to crack out of this pack, man? Oh, goodness gracious. Was anyone else as young as I was? 10, 11 years old? Or like 11, 12 years old when you first started? Archery training. I hardly remember this card. I, I, I can barely recall that. Festering wound yet again. Come on. Goblin Marshall. Oh, yeah, with the echo cost for six. Whenever Goblin Marshall comes into play or is put into a graveyard from play, put two 1-1 one, one red Goblin creature tokens into play. 3-3. Three, three. That echo cost, though, man. Yeah, that was like their way of nerfing this set, if you ask me. Ooh, Trumpet Blast. Beautiful, shiny red foil there. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I'm just... I'm lost in the, in the moment. Elvish a lookout. <laughs> Trying to keep this flowing smooth, but 
man, those days at the card shop, man. Uh, I'd spend so many hours in the card shop with my buddy Adamo. He was supposed to be in this video, but he's actually doing a ghost investigation out at Mansfield Prison tonight. So, unfortunately, he's not here. But I was in his last music video. I highly suggest at the end of this, go check it out. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. <coughs> my allergies. I'm so sorry, guys. <coughs> Trust me, we're coughing away from the cards. I had allergies like crazy. Yo, encroach. Ah! Come on, man. Thrawn Foundry. I almost thought it was a dynamo. Thrawn Foundry. What else are we going to get? Ancient Silverback. Yeah, you better believe Joey Moss was running this puppy in the day. Mm -hmm. Get the regeneration on him, too. Give him some trample. Take your opponent to Pound Town. Dude never dies. We'll see you later. Then he gets exiled and we all cry. Oh, man. Ravenous Rats. Legit. Another Bubbling Muck. Bubbling Muck foil is like 40 bucks. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Those were those three. You did pretty good, my friend. Congrats on the foil. Anyone gets a foil. You got two foils. Holy crap. Save some for somebody else, pal. Very nice, Christopher. Straighten out that camera. All right, guys. Let's do this. Nathan. Nathan's up. On deck is Jordan. Nathan, good luck, buddy. This is what we're all here for. The big show. Ooh, off rip. A freaking Thrawn Dynamo. Whew, nice. Best uncommon in the set. I want to see a Raphael. What's his name? Raffaellos? I think I might have one. Maybe. Oh, no. I, my God. I got one from um, that. What was it called? Uh, at a freaking estate sale. Oh, my God. That's right. Okay. Uh, Methathron Elite. That was a, such a sick pull. Elvish Piper. Oh, I thought we were about to pull him right there. I was about to flip. Elvish Piper. Another really cool card. Uh, there you go. Got the old pipes. Always like this, dude. Cheat any creature into play for one green mana after paying four, of course. And summoning sickness. But man, that is sickening, dudes. Gosh. So freaking powerful. All right, what else? Can we get one more foil? Ah, 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 ah. Not yet. All right, Nathan. Appreciate you, man. That wind is coming through. Jordan, good luck. Come to think of it, um, I like this weather. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like I'm walking to the card shop. It's real breezy. Okay. <laughs> uh, good luck, Jordan. Oh, sorry, nostrils. I know I had to do one more little snifferoo there, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, good luck. Um, another thing I remember from back, way back then was this, this place called Collector's Warehouse. It's no longer there anymore. But uh, there was a um, LGS called Collector's Warehouse, and they had all this old vintage stuff, like movie posters, star, probably Star Wars posters, like back in the 80s or whatever, that are worth like probably thousands and thousands of dollars now. Another Piper. Okay, that's not really, a, that's not bad. Pulling two pipes, back to back two Pipers. Pretty freaking crazy. But just the, the feeling of back in the day and walking in and just taking a look through the binders or uh, the cases, you know. There's just something about that. I wish I could relive that moment when I was walking into these shops and just having a look around. It's it just something magical about that time, you know. Appreciate it, Jordan. You know, these gloves, man. <laughs> these things love sticking to me. All right, we got Brendan up. Let's go, man. And then after that, Vera on deck. Good luck. One pack for you. Oh, what is the foil rare going to be? Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine if we were to hit a foil metal worker or a foil Yogmas bargain or a foil treachery? Oh, my goodness. You got disappear. <laughs> Brian, this guy looks so shocked. He's like, oh, hello there. You want to take my virginity? We got Jasmine Sear. Oh, come on, shake and bake. Ooh, attrition. That's a solid one as well. Attrition's in the top 15. Top 12, actually. Top, nope, it's ranks number 13. 13th most valuable card in the set. Very cool. There's Fatigue. We got to work our way up. We got to work our way up. Rescue, Plated, and Kelden. Brandon, very cool. Uh, the most expensive rare we've pulled so far is the Urza's Incubator. Not bad. There is up. Ooh, there we go. Two packs. Ooh, it's the lady. Good luck to you. May the valley forever be on your side. She loves her goats. 
She loves her goats on the funny farm. Here we go. She sent me goat cheese. It was amazing. Still got it. Still some left. And uh, Adamo tried it too. Oh, we have that hot sauce. Oh, maybe I can splice that into this one. I had that hot sauce. Um, not hot sauce, but um, yeah, we eat these burning hot freaking chips uh, with the, uh, the goat cheese. Oh, man, it was freaking banging. I was sweating profusely. I was supposed to have that in a video already. There's Yavamaya Enchantress. Apple scent. Am I saying that right? Apple, apple essence. I'm an idiot. Apple freaking essence. Another big hit. Uh, right under Urza's Incubator, so another top 10. We will freaking take it. But we want that foil, Daddy-O. We want that foil. Ooh, Ravenous Rats looks nasty. I'm telling you, all these black ones, just the foils on them are ridiculous. That just pops like no other. Congratulations. You got yourself... Um, a nice top, hit, a nice top hit. Plus, you got yourself the ravenous rats. I'd say you're rocking and rolling right now. One more pack. One more pack for the goat lady. You ever milk a goat? Beer has. That's right. Can we open this pack? There we go. Ooh, I don't know why, but I'm feeling a really big hit just because of that compost. Anybody else get that feeling right there? Did you get that feeling? I just got that feeling. Thron Foundry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's it gonna be? I feel something big. Sowing salt. Oh, come on. Come on, daddy-o. Come on, daddy-o. Give me that freaking juice. Oh, I knew it. Oh, it's so good at predicting those pulls, man. Freaking replenish. Number two for the goat lady. Woo! Goat lives matter, baby. Get off her. Nobody's on her. Oh, my God. Hits the freaking replenish. Joey Moss calling that crap. Ah. Oh. Nobody calls more pulls than me. Nobody. Oh my goodness, that was gross. That is just, I'm shaking a little bit. That is gross. I don't want to put this down. I don't want to put this down. You're going right up in here. Sleeving you up real nice and tight. There you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. B-E-A, beautiful. Congratulations. Wow. Oh my God. Card looks dope. There's a little bit of specs, specs here and there, but that's from the case, I think. Holy crap. That's what we came for. That's what we came for. Ooh. She gets so lucky on my channel, I swear. Uh, the female patrons, man, they get so much freaking luck. It's silly sauce, I swear, man. All the freaking time. Sorry about the fricks. All right, no more fricks. All right, frick is stupid. We're, we're cutting it out right now. Congrats, Vera. That felt really freaking good. Mark's up. Marky Mark. Let's go, buddy. One pack for Mark. There's so many more packs to crack. Uh, this box is uh, this box is fire right now. Um, all we need is just that massive... Oh, uh, please don't mess this up. I hate when the packs open goofy like that. Um, we just need that massive, massive pool right now. Okay. Brian Sear. Goblin Berserker. First strike haste. Man, I love the art on these old gabos. Thorn Elemental. Ah! Mark got hit pretty hard there. Nice, nice little pull though. No, not really. That one's not good. Uh, Mark of Fury. Maybe he'll get a foil. Can he get the foil? <laughs> Bubbling Mark. There you go. Darn. All right. That was cool though. Sun just came in like crazy sauce. Justin Kell, may the value forever be on your side. We're going to take both ends here. We're going to go both ends. That replenish number freaking two. So looking at damn spicy, but what would make this opening magnificent is a real good foil rare. Is my friend going to pull it? We're going to find out. Private. Keldon Champion. Scour. Temporal Adapt. Three drop tap. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. There you go. Nothing too bonkers with that one. Mental discipline, I like that. Scout, how about, oh, that ravenous uh, rat's foil was pretty sweet. Okay, nothing bonkers in that one. Justin, if you pull that foil rare, you are forever just incredible. I like that, here we go. Colin Berserker, landslide. Eradicate, oh man. 
Ooh. Carnival of Souls, yes. Whenever a creature comes into play, you lose one life and add a black mana to your mana pool. Oh, that is hot. That's one of the better cards, too. That is in uh, top 15. Top 15. Can we find another foil? No. Ah. Appreciate you, Justin. One little thing I want to mention. On occasion, I see some real trash humans, you know, that will say some nasty stuff in the comments. Like, oh, man, he spent all that money and got $10 in value. God, what an idiot. Anyone who says that, one of two things is happening there. One, they are extremely jealous. And they're your biggest hater. Number two, they don't have the money to be a part of this. So they're just using that, that, that like, I'm going to make fun of you kind of thing because I'm not a part of this. So don't let that get to you if you're one of the people in these crazy breaks. We're going to take losses. That's why I joined in these also. Revised, I got my butt kicked. I think I had five bucks worth of value, if that. It was terrible. Those packs were like 350, three, no, 380. They were through the freaking roof, man. I got hosed to crap. I don't care. You know why? Because this is an experience that's going to live on forever. <laughs> it is freaking sweet, man. Gregory, good luck, buddy. Greg, I hope you get a foil. Greg, let's get that foil, baby. Caltrops. Look at this guy. He's walking around on tax. Rapid Decay. What's a cycling for deuce? Is that where... No, I think cycling came in Exodus, didn't it? Hmm. Remove from the game up to three target cards in a single graveyard. Yeah, that's one of those yawn cards. But can we get a foil? Are there foils back here? I can't remember if we pulled all the foils early on, like up front. Solidarity, not a whole lot of there. All right. Sorry, Greg. Let's see some of that gold. Troy. I think Troy won a pretty good battle not too long ago. Good luck, Troy. Troy's getting one pack. One pack to rule them all. Are they doing like a Lord of the Rings secret layer? If I'm not mistaken. They just might be. Oh, I hate when that happens, that little tiny corner right there. Best thing to do is pull it out the opposite side. There we go. All right, foil or bust. Here we go. Troy, get that foil, man. Make your money back and then some. Fodder cannon. Ooh. Ooh. False prophet. Ah, oh, the hope was real. The hope was real. And then it just went all out the door. Man, we have done pretty good so far. Overall, it's a good box. Fatigue, trumpet, no foils for a while. Thanks, Troy. Man, just thinking about the echo cost. I can re recall at least five occasions where I got my butt kicked in a game because I had to pay that echo cost. Or I just, like, get rid of my creature. What is this? What is that? What are you doing? How'd you get there? Who sent you? What's going on here? That might have just been something from, uh, when they did the, the, the cut on the bottom or whatever. Muhammad, good luck, buddy. Muhammad got two freaking packs. I'm not saying the effort anymore, Jelly. We've got to cut that crap out. Again, I hate when it just snags right there. It's so annoying, man. All right, we're going to have to open this side up here, too. So I was shocked not to see open boosters in this uh, in this crack, man. I was shocked, especially with his good luck. He probably didn't want to push his luck. He's like, all right, I'm walking away from the lottery machine for a little while. Or the slot machine. <laughs> Scour. Extruder. <sighs> Very cool. Donate. Okay. Haven't seen a donate. That's the first time seeing it. Nice card. Target player gains control of target permanent you control. That is pretty intense. Nice little pool. Muhammad, can you do, can you beat a donate? I really hope you beat a donate and get a foil as well. Not looking like this pack though. On to the second pack. Did I call you Mo? Do people call you Mo? Probably. All right. Pack. Two, will it be Spicy McLovin over here? Will Muhammad throw a freaking party? We're going to find out. Nightshade Seer. What a dust on that. This box was dusty as all get out. Voice of Reason. Beautiful art. Right? Private Research. Just don't tell anyone what we're doing. That <laughs> Private Research. It's like snooping in your partner's phone. Shh, don't say nothing. We're snooping. Bloodshot Cyclops. Ah, Mo, you got a yellow beat up here, man. I hardly recall this card. 
I barely remember that card. Give him a foil. Give him a foil. We'll slap him on his butt and send him on his way. Let's see what we got. Heart Warden. Skirmisher. King. Fatigue. Blast. You have my Elder. Mark of Fury. Ugh. Another one bites the dust. I love this dude's name. Hearse Driver. I go by patron names. Or by, I'm not by patron names. For battles, I usually go by patron names. But for these, um, it's easier to keep track um, when I go by their PayPal name and just like abbreviate, you know, the last few letters of the name. Hearse Driver, good luck. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to organize, trust me. Uh, I've been doing this for a while now, and uh, that's the best way i found to do it. Otherwise, I'm bouncing back and forth trying to compare things. Someone might have forgot to put their patron name in the comments. It's like, ah, drives me mad. So the easiest way to do it. His name just happens to be Hearse. He had it changed. Isn't that something? Oh, man, sometimes I can't open these packs good, and it really makes me nervous. There we go. Okay, good. That actually opened really nice. Let's slide that puppy out top. Shrink. Here we go. Hearse getting two. What will we find? Thrawn Dynamo, bada, bada. Nice pool. Nice pool. Gamekeeper, oh man. Oh, come on, daddy -o. Oh, come on, something juicy. Metal freaking worker! Oh, I felt that one! Good! 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 There you go, man. A freaking gem mint fresh out the sealed booster box. Pack Metal Worker. Oh my god. And a Thrawn Dynamo to go with it. Oh, Hearst Driver. Oh, Hearst Driver. Oh man. You are just killing the dead here, man. You really are. Oh wow. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. We're going to show that card again in a moment. Hot dogs. Oh my god. Pulls the freaking Metal Worker. That is so sick. Ah! That card was shit back in the day. I want you guys to know, not many people played Metal Worker. It was like crap. I remember I pulled a foil of that. Never used it. Threw it in the freaking binder. Left it there. Like, never played with it. Uh, call Traps. So Salt. Oh, Thrawn Gollum. Sorry, couldn't have the crazy freaking luck there in the next one. Yeah. Man. So crazy. As long as Thrawn Gollum is enchanted, it gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying. First strike and trample. That's a nice little perk. A nice little perk there. Nice metal worker. Nice, uh, nice gallum here. But how about a foil? Probably not, huh? Rescue. We are down to the nitty gritty, man. Have not hit the rare foil yet. Oh man, get out of this metal worker, guys. Holy smothering tithe. That is amazing. I'm not even gonna flip it. Until I get it up in the sleeve. Shrink. Beautiful. Oh. Flawless. Again, millimeter off center. Other than that, you can barely tell it's off center on the front. So, high grade potential. People do grade this one quite often. Very, very cool. Congratulations on your metal worker. That was sick. Read this. Reveal any number of artifact cards in your hand. Add two colors, man, to your mana pool for each card revealed this way. This thing got really hot. Like it was like mid 2000s. I want to like mid 2010s, something like that. It wasn't the hottest freaking card like for a little bit. It was like a buck or two at the time of release. Crazy. Now it's the most valuable card in the entire set. That just made my day. We got William EDH. Who likes to play EDH? There you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 packs to go. William, good luck, pal. After that metal worker, let's pull another one. Let's pull a foil of it. Oh my gosh, these packs. Can we pull two metal workers? Is the question. Shwink. Good luck. Whew. Disappear. Brainwood. Whoa, another attrition. A solid. Taking that, another attrition. Have not seen a foil in a while, so we know we are due for one. Our fellow's gift, twisted. Not gonna be this pack. Okay. EDH, appreciate you. Nice little attrition for you. Who we got? We got Mark. Mark Fenn on deck. He's getting two packs. Bink, bink. Good luck, Mark. 
Mark, I hope you pull something out of this freaking world. Something just ridiculous. Gotta be careful here, guys. Gotta be careful. Oh, the, you know, the lighting in here makes it look kind of interesting. With uh, the sun going down as I do this, interesting stuff. Get that foil, baby. Soul Feast. Voice of Duty. Oh, foil. Ah, oh, Tethered Griffin. Ah, Mark, that one tickles, huh? Flying when you control no enchantment. Sacrifice Tethered Griffin. Okay. I think we have one more common left and two more uncommons. Right? Bubbling Muck. I believe so. Okay. Nothing crazy in that pack. But we got a second pack. Don't give up yet, Mark. It ain't over. Oh, man. That is Urza's destiny right there. That is Urza's destiny. Oh, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like this guy. <laughs> Eradicate. Come on, big hit. Aura Thief. Aura Thief's not bad. Aura Thief's in, I think, the top 15. Barely. Yeah, top 15. The, probably the 15th. It is the 15th. There is a nice little Aura Thief. Uh, flying when Aura Thief is put into a graveyard from play, you gain control of all enchantments. Deuce. Deuce. Not the best hits for my friend here. Maybe a foil? Maybe not. Woo! The end of this box is going to be real freaking succulent. We got Jeremy. Jeremy's getting two packs. May the value forever be on your side. Again, this has been a really good opening. But what is going to be the foil rare? Everyone wants to know. I, I'm dying to know right now. Hype is real, man. Hype is real. Could be right here. Jeremy could be looking at her. Sliding right behind here. Maybe, oh, and another uncommon, too. We need another uncommon foil. Oh, I thought we were going to get one right there. Maybe it's just one more card. Ooh, Apprentice Necromancer. Oh, God, that's a no. You, you, you. No. That one hurt. Jeremy, that one really hurt. I understand. I'm feeling your pain right now. Deep in my groin. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's painful. <laughs> Jeremy, don't do that again. Jeremy needs to hit. Jeremy needs to hit a big one right now. He needs to go out on a freaking bang. Oh, come on. Oh, these packs. They're so old. They're hard to open, guys. There we go. Perfect. Don't get caught at the bottom. Okay. Ooh, we haven't hit an incendiary yet. There we go. Incendiary. Incendiary. Yeah, sure. Foil. Oh. Anything but an apprentice necromancer. <laughs> Aether Sting. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, flicker. Remove target non-token permanent from the game, then return it to play under its own control. Cool card, cool card. Probably one of the first of its kind to do that. Wow. I cannot believe we haven't hit the foil rare yet or the other two uncommon foils, if I'm not mistaken. Holy smother and tithe. I'm going to stop right there. That leaves us with 10 packs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one more we're going one more baby oh look who's up next not joey moss <laughs> not joey moss it is mr victor victor may you have the spoils of victory right now or should we stop right here should we stop right here yeah, we're going to make Victor wait. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. What a freaking blast if you want to see the rest of this. And this actually was discussed with patrons, fans, to shorten the video a little bit. These are big openings, and I really don't think a lot of people have an hour to, 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 to spend watching this. So if I break it into two parts... I think that's going to be a bit more fun. I'll do the bulk of it in the first video for these huge openings. And then the second video will be trimmed down a lot. Like a third or a fourth of the box remaining. Thank you, everyone. Leave a like. Be subscribed. Hit the notification bell. So you can find the latest videos as they drop on Bad Boy Gaming. If you want to get these breaks, link in the description of every video. Check out the Patreon. Skadoosh. Uh...